Welcome to another episode of the Dynamic Thriving Podcast. I am your host, Marianne Pack, spiritual medium, oracle for my spirit guides, the many, and joy advocate. And I am so looking forward to this show today because I have my friend and colleague, Stephanie Munoz with me. Welcome, Stephanie. Hi, Marianne. Thank you. I'm so excited and so honored to be here today. Thank you for the invitation. I'm so glad you're here because this is a really timely topic. We're going to talk about anxiety and we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, and I want to share with you all that uh, this podcast is in collaboration with Ladies Power Lunch. It's a free Facebook group that you will want to join, ladies, if you are wanting people to intentionally support you. And that's our one rule in Ladies Power Lunch. Our uh, chief happiness officer, who is Dr. Divya Shepherd, is our leader. And she makes sure that we support one another. And it is a very active, wonderful group um, that I gain a lot of um, support and collaborations through and um, just love being with them. So you can find them on Facebook under groups, Ladies Power Lunch, or go to their website, ladiespowerlunch.com. So Stephanie, who is Stephanie and what good do you bring into the world? Wow. Yeah. That's a deep question. <laughs> it's something that I've been, you know, percolating throughout the years. But to give you, um, I don't know, there are many ways of explaining who you are, right? Mm -hmm. um, but to the audience, I would like to, to introduce myself as a transformational coach, an expert in stress management and anxiety. Um, I have a background in business, so I'm not a therapist at all, but I love understanding the mind, the emotion. That's something that has been a passion for me. Uh, I probably my whole life, but I'd really started to studying it around what 14 years ago when I had, you know, uh, like the midlife crisis that some people have it at 40, others at 50. I had it at 30. <laughs> <laughs> you were just an early bloomer. Very early bloomer, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it was it was a funny way to discover that that it was a crisis because, you know, I was I was a very successful professional. I was working in corporate and in a multinational company in Guatemala. I'm originally from Guatemala, and I had kind of like my dream job. You know, I was earning really good. I had a management position. I had my car, my house. I recently got married at that time. You know, I was having a very social life and I traveled the world uh, working and for pleasure, like for everything. So in, in the outside, you would think, wow, she's very successful. Mm -hmm. You know, in the inside, not at all. I was like, I don't understand. I have achieved everything I set my mind to when I started college and I achieve it, but I'm not happy. Ooh. You know, it was like, so I started to go inside myself. At that time, I didn't even know what that meant. <laughs> you know? I didn't even know. So I started this training on affirmations. That was the first time I heard about affirmations. And I realized there that it wasn't only about what you want, but if your soul, and at that time I couldn't tell you this, but that your soul was aligned with what your head wanted. And I started, you know, going on this amazing journey that started, yeah, around 15 years ago of self-discovery. And different things happened throughout it like in this period that I realized that I, I needed to make very, very huge changes. And the first big change I did was getting divorced. After a 12 year relationship, I realized I got married, but I wasn't in love when I got married. We didn't have any children, but it wasn't fair for him nor for me to be in a relationship where there wasn't any love. There was just, you know, the love of I, 
I care for you. I think you are a good person, but he wasn't the one for me or I wasn't the one for him. Mm -hmm. So that was the first like very, very um, stressful and anxious anxiety thing that happened to me that I had to make a choice and a decision. And sometimes we just go through life accepting what is, Mm -hmm. but we're not happy. So I started getting confronted to change all the things that didn't make me happy. And that caused me a lot of stress and anxiety. But that was the first, you know, that was the first thing that I overcame. And then I work a lot on myself to really heal everything that happened in that relationship with him as, you know, him with me and what for me meant to be in a relationship because there were, I I realized there were three very different things. And then, you know, I met my current husband that I'm madly in love with still. We've been together for almost 10 years and we have a son, a five-year-old son. And there were other challenges afterwards that were causing me a lot of stress and anxiety. And probably the biggest one was that three things happened at the same time for me. And that was, I, my son was born, so I became a mother. Um, I became at that time financially dependent of my husband because since I was having a baby, I couldn't work at that time. Mm-hmm. And we yeah. moved to a different country. So there were three things that just one of each it's already stressful and causes a lot of anxiety so imagine having the three at the same time Mm. it was crazy and overload overload yeah and I was working a lot in myself you know almost for 10 years by that time so I thought you know I had the tools I I've been working on my mindset I've been working on my emotions I know what I need to do and I was doing it but not really getting anywhere. Mm. And this is when I discover a concept that I call the mental jail, you know, Mm. and what does it mean? It's like, imagine all the walls from the jail. That's my lack of consciousness. Then, you know, the the handcuffs is my comfort zone because I want to be there and I believe it's better, but it's not really, I mean, it's just a handcuff. Right, right. Me being the inside, it's I'm a victim, you know, I'm playing the victim because I'm inside the jail. And then if you see the outside, it's like all, I mean, the guards, the outside world with their high expectations and ideals. Then when you see the door is the fear, the fear of coming out Mm -hmm. of it, you know, what will happen when I come out of it? But the, the, there's still a little window that's hope. And when you see the key, the key chain, and you see the key, it's actually a transformation. So you have it to open it up. But what happens, and what I discovered then, is that even though I had the tools, even though I, I knew, with everything I knew and everything, my beliefs, my paradigms, everything, I got inside that mental jail. Mm-hmm. So to leave that with the same beliefs and the same paradigms it's very hard so you know after two years of having you know postpartum it wasn't depression I would call it stress postpartum stress it lasted for two years I sir I I look for help I, I was like it's I cannot do this by myself why because I by myself I put myself in there I need help to really leave this mental jail that I built. And especially that when so many things happen at the same time, it's very hard to catch up to what you're actually feeling if you're uh, an emotional illiterate, as I call people, you know, that we don't know what we're feeling. And there are many feelings at the same time flowing. And imagine with those three situations and the hormones, by the way, (laughs) after having a child. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and I was breastfeeding for like seven eight months so still craziness for a year <laughs> yeah so then you know I love I'm a I'm a, I'm a nerd I love studying I love yes. uh, researching and finding out a lot of things and you know yeah. networking I love all that 
So I decided because I knew a lot after being in corporate, I opened up my, my, my coaching practice and my, my company and I became an entrepreneur and I did a lot of things. However, um, I didn't know what to focus on as a coach since I, you know, I had the corporate, I had the life coaching, I, I also am a yoga teacher. So I had all these things. And after leaving all this anxiety and stress in my life, I decided, you know, a lot of people go to therapies for that. And, and that I truly believe is necessary when you think you're having uh, a mental condition. But Anxiety, as I understood, it's an emotion. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we don't need therapy to treat an emotion. We need to become literate in that emotion. And that's when I decided to focus on stress and anxiety, but on the emotional part, not on the you know, mental condition yet. Because in a mental condition situation, uh, you know, like uh, panic attacks, anxiety attacks, there are other things it could be trauma related to trauma. It could oh, be something going on in your brain, you know, neurobiology. I mean, there are other things, but it's not only anxiety. And in those cases, I highly recommend to get a diagnosis by a professional that will tell you if you actually have a mental condition or, or not. Sometimes they do this diagnosis and you don't have anything. And it's because you're not handling well your emotions. And that's what I started doing, like teaching people how to understand stress, understand anxiety, and not only how it, they work, but how they work in themselves, because each of us is different. Yes, yes. So the levels of anxiety that you and me handle or of stress are completely different. We can be exactly in the same situation and it might not cause you stress or anxiety at all. And for me, it can blow my mind of the stress and anxiety I'm feeling. Yes. So how people can that understand that better. And if the people at the same time are going to a therapist, it's amazing, you know, when we work together with a therapist and a coach, because the work a therapist does is different from a coach. And that yeah. complements so good. And it's so powerful because people go faster in their, in, in, in achieving, you know, their dreams, they're living more in their best version and achieve their potential. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit about me. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. So you are a transformational coach and our topic today is anxiety is emotion. It is not a mental health issue. So um, I, I liked that you were bringing the distinction because there is, I mean, sometimes anxiety just comes up because we're not controlling our emotions because we're not controlling our thought patterns. You know, yeah. there's so much to do. The, the thoughts create those emotional feelings and, and uh, so many times we don't think we can control our thoughts to even have any control over our feelings and, and the anxiety or the, the stress that we're exactly. under, but we do, and we just need those tools. And that's what coaches like you help people do, um, find those. So what kind of help do you give your clients? What is the transformation that you see when you work with people? Okay, um, here I will explain to you a little bit about the difference between a mental health condition mm -hmm. and anxiety. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you a bit how I came up to this. I, um, so to finish my story about how I came to this, you know, I started working on this by myself and with help. I mean, I had help. And so I discovered all these tools that are really simple and powerful to start working stress and anxiety. So I decided because people tend to go for years to a therapist yes. and sometimes they, they move forward, but very, very at a very slow pace. Mm -hmm. So what I help them to do is to kind of like a little bit faster in, you know, understanding the emotion itself, not going on the mental mental health thing right, right. so what is the difference in most of the li literature about the topic about anxiety they speak from a sense 
that anxiety is more a problem, something we need to eliminate, rationalize, or that we have to get rid of. Unfortunately, that doesn't help because anxiety and stress will always be present in our lives. So, and I don't want to say, you know, um, three tools to eliminate stress or uh, to eliminate anxiety. No, because anxiety, it's a very special emotion that has a lot of benefits for us and we don't know about it. And sometimes what happens as well is that we confuse anxiety with fear, with panic, with confusion, or even with guilt or with shame. So we don't, we, nobody teaches us to really value our emotions or identify them clearly. Yes. And this is what I call, you know, emotional illiterate. And many people confuse anxiety with, you know, a situation, a mental health situation like anxiety disorder, social anxiety, um, obsessive, how do you call it? Com obsessive compulsive disorder, mm -hmm. panic attacks, and other phobies. And these conditions have anxiety, but other emotions as well. Right. And sometimes there's as well uh, psychological distress, traumatic situations, mm -hmm. neurological conditions, but none of them, I mean, none of these conditions are caused by anxiety itself. It's kind of like a consequence of many right. things. Right. And anxiety as an emotion is just a little part of it, you know. So that's kind of like the first thing I want, you know, to make the separation mm -hmm. and the way I focus. it. So that's why my work helps a lot, because I help people to understand the emotion of anxiety, not the mental health condition. That's something that the therapist is an expert, and it's amazing to help the, the patient deal with. Mm -hmm. I don't go there. And if I see a situation where I believe or the, the client believes that there might be a mental, mental health situation, then I tell them to go and get a diagnosis right. because you know I'm not that's not my field and I completely respect and I go my field is mindset and emotions it's not you know the mental health uh, situations so saying this um I want to ask the audience it's like if you have in your life and I ask you as well Marianne if you have confused anxiety with a mental health condition? Yeah, I don't know because I don't have that mental health condition. <laughs> <laughs> no, but sometimes- so, Yeah, I mean, it would be hard. It would be hard to say, oh, well, you have this, but I have this, you know. Um, yeah, it, it's not as extreme. Anxiety mm -hmm. isn't as extreme for me. Um, so because the thing is, I can get relief fairly quickly from it. Mm -hmm. I would think if it was a mental health issue, it would just be so chronic and ongoing that there wouldn't, it wouldn't clear as quickly as I can move through anxiety. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I love your answer because yeah, sometimes when we have in low levels of anxiety in our life then we don't even think about you know the mental health condition but yeah. when we tend to have high levels of stress or anxiety then we start thinking hmm, is there something wrong my may i have something like health uh a mental health related you know right so yeah, yeah yeah i love that but you know for me it was like anxiety it wasn't equal to a mental health condition, but it was something really strong that needed to be dealt with uh, a therapist, mm -hmm. not someone else. For me, that was it. So, and mm -hmm. there are many people I, I, I talk with many clients and I many people in my community that they have confused and they, they have thought that anxiety itself was something terrible. And I've been explaining to them, no, anxiety by itself, it's not. Right. If it's part of something bigger bigger than, right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely so yeah. what makes your approach unique what makes it um 
something that's different from how other coaches might work with stress or anxiety? Because I know that's your expertise, your area of expertise. Yeah. You know, my unique approach is that um, I seek for transformation. I don't kind of like many coaches have like a step-by-step program, even therapist that you have to do these steps to right. achieve it's like a cutty cut a cookie cut how do you say cookie, cookie cutter cutter mm-hmm. cutter that this is for everybody and I don't like working like that I like to work even though I, I work in groups and everything um I like people exploring like what the emotions mean for them yes. how it's connected with the mindset and how they can transform it into something of benefit to them. So um, most coaches out there say, let's eliminate stress, let's eliminate anxiety. I don't say that. I say, let's learn how to deal with it and deal it in our favor. Because when you understand anxiety, anxiety lives in the future. And who doesn't want to have a good future? Mm -hmm. We all do. So if we understand that anxiety arises when there's a different future for us, and of course it might be scary because we don't know what it will look like. Mm -hmm. But if what anxiety is telling us, you need tools to get there, instead of freaking out, like look for the tools that you will, that will be very useful for you to get there, then your mindset changes completely. And you're not worrying about, oh, I'm anxious, I'm anxious, I can't sleep, I can't. No, it's like there's something positive here. As well with stress. Like if you focus on the positive of stress, then stress helps you move forward and helps you accomplish things and helps you enjoy your work even more. I love so that. That's my approach. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm always looking for those positive aspects of whatever we're going through. And this is, this is just perfect. Um, so, no, and, you know, one thing is, it doesn't mean like seeing it uh, uh, positive, that it doesn't have its, its challenges. Oh, and yes. that It's not painful because, you know, many of my clients have lost their jobs and yes, yes. they're in their houses because they can't come out of it because of the anxiety. Mm -hmm. So this can be something really, really terrible. However, if you start getting to know yourself and how, not necessarily how everything started, but what was the tipping point for it to start, you know, the anxiety attacks, the anxiety situation, then you will start transforming it. It's something good for you and not something bad as probably it is right now right 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 yeah for sure and I always say our mess is our message so what was your mess that made you decide to do this work because most of the time it's what we've gone through that we end up healing through and then we end up teaching or coaching through so yeah, you know, I would t- I would say that it was these three horrible, oh, yes. horrible, but these three things that happen at the same time that can be very traumatic, and can be and, and are stressful and and cause you anxiety. You know, having a baby, moving countries, and becoming financially dependent when all your life I was independent financially. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that would that would be. Uh... That would, those, those are three stressors, big stressors for sure. So I I love that you are doing this work. And so how can people contact you? What, um, how can people work with you if they're, if they're, they know they have stress and anxiety and they pretty much know it's not a mental condition. It is just dealing with life. Exactly. It's just life. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a way, I believe it's a way that your soul tells you to yeah. stop and to start listening more to what's inside of you and what your soul needs and your body, because we don't even know what our body needs. We think we do, but we don't. Mm-hmm. Um, 
my work, I do my work mainly in Spanish. So if you go on my website, anastefanimunoz.com, it's in Spanish. Mm -hmm. However, for this special occasion, I'm doing something really, really special for all our audience. And it's, I have a magic session that I created and it's 90 minutes long. Normally it costs $300, yeah. but I'm giving a special price just for this community only for the people that listen to the podcast and they will get the magic session for $200. And they have to write me to my email. Um, Anna.stephanie.m at excedetupotencial.com. I'm and Marianne is going to leave will, the email. <laughs> I will have that in the show notes. You don't have to spell it out or remember. Yeah. So her offer will be there and how to get this uh discounted price for this magic yeah, session. Just I'm put wondering. in the in the subject magic session and I know it's you from the podcast. What what happens in this magic session? One of the things that I've discovered throughout my, you know, my journey, my healing journey, my transformational journey is that energy, like the energy we have, the energy, not only to do things, but the energy that we have inside ourselves that attracts good situations, bad situations, so-so situations, that energy um, helps us thrive or gets us stuck. So in this magic session, what I do is I help you shift your energy to a different place, go from what we call, you know, the default energy that what we do, like we just do things and we don't even think we're in the doing, doing, doing. And the idea is I help you move more in the being, in connecting with yourself, connecting with your, your head and your heart being connected and shifting to an energy where you will find more peace. Be why? Because stress and anxiety don't allow you to feel peace. Yes. So to move from whatever belief you have on stress and anxiety to a different energy that will bring you more peace and balance to your life. Mm -hmm. I love that. What a positive, um, uh, amazing offer. This To spend 90 minutes with you just getting clear on that and moving that energy. And um, I'm sure you probably give them some tools that they can work on at home then, yeah. then yeah. afterwards. That, that's that's beautiful. Exactly. I appreciate you. I appreciate you being my guest on the show. We're almost out of time, but do you have any final words of wisdom you would like to share? Well, first, thank you, Marianne, for the invitation. Mm -hmm. I had a lovely time talking with you about what I do and how passionate I am with my work. And final thoughts for, for the audience is, what is it that it's preventing you to live in your best version? Mm -hmm. How can you align your mind and your heart to live in your best version? Tune into that and you know what you need to do. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, because we're definitely so many times if our head and our heart are not in balance, not disconnected in harmony. Yeah, disconnected, whatever. You know, we don't, we can't hear what our soul is saying, you know, yeah. and, and we, then we get in that frozen place like you, of, of the stress and anxiety sometimes the fears, the li listening to our limiting beliefs rather than to our inner being who says that we're greatness, that we're goodness, that we're enough. So I, I love that. I love that you, uh, you the work that you're doing and um, I appreciate you, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marianne. It was lovely being here with you today. Thank you. And thank you listeners for being with us today. I so appreciate you and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this podcast because it helps my work bring more joy into the world because I love highlighting these coaches and intuitives and energy workers and light workers. And uh, it is my joy to bring them to you. And um, uh, be sure and also visit our website, maryimpact.com for all of our services. And coming soon, 
we are in collaboration with Ladies Power Lunch to create a coaching concierge directory uh, where I'll be offering uh, coaching concierge uh, sessions, consultations to help you find the perfect coach for this season of your life. And we are creating that directory of many, many coaches, different types of coaches. So depending on what you need, what kind of coaching that you need, we can help you find that coach and um, put point you in the right direction so that you don't have to waste your time and energy and possibly money on trying to find a coach in this noisy world online of everybody screaming for your dollar. Um, this is this is with our heart and our intention is to find the perfect coach for you at this time. And it's always your decision. We will give you two to three coaching options. You'll have a consultation with each one of those options and choose your coach that you resonate with. No one is telling you who to coach with. We want to help you. And we know that that need is out there in the world because the other online directories that I've looked at didn't have any kind of one-on-one -on -one sessions with people. And I know that's so important. So look forward for that because that's coming up soon. And um, again, thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate you. Thank you, Marianne. It was Absolutely. a great time that I spent today with you. Thank you so much. And remember, everyone, you are joy looking for a way to express. <laughs>